Hello everyone. Welcome to Naso Academy. In the previous lecture, we learned loops in C++. We got to know that with the help of a loop, we can execute a block of code as many times as we want. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is Break and Continue. In this lecture, we will understand the importance of the break and continue statement within a loop. So without any further delay, Let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic is the break statement and the second topic is the continue statement. So these are the topics. Let's start with the first one, the break statement. So what is the break statement? Break statement is the statement that is used to exit a loop or a switch statement. So if we want to exit from a loop, that too, when the loop is executing and if we want to exit from a switch statement, then we can use the break statement. We have already used the break statement with a switch statement. We know how to use it. Now let's understand how to use the break statement with a loop. For this purpose, let's consider a simple C++ program. Here is the C++ program. And with the help of this C++ program, I want to calculate the sum of all the numbers entered by the user. When the user enters minus 1, then the sum will be displayed on the screen. For this purpose, I have defined these two variables, num and sum. They are 0 initialized. And then I have written this while loop. And here, the condition is true. This means this while loop will run forever. This is because the condition never becomes false. And this means this while loop will not terminate. And therefore, this is an infinite while loop. Here we have these two statements. Now, with the help of these two statements, I want to receive a number from the user. This message will be displayed on the screen. Enter a number, minus 1 to exit. User will provide some number which will be received in the num variable. Now here I am checking this condition. If num is equal to minus 1, then we will break from this loop. We know this is an infinite loop. This means this loop will run forever. But if this condition is true, that is if the user input is minus 1, then the break statement will encounter and this means this loop will terminate at this point. So, with the help of break statement, we can terminate a loop. If the number is not minus 1, then this statement will execute. This means sum equal to sum plus num will execute. Whatever the number we will receive in the num variable will be added to the value of the sum variable and the result will then be stored in the sum variable only. So, in this way, the sum variable will hold the sum of all the numbers entered by the user, except minus 1. Because when num is minus 1, then the loop will break and we will never reach this line. At this point, this statement will execute and sum will be displayed on the screen. Now, let's execute this program. This message will be displayed, enter a number, minus 1 to exit. Let's provide the number 10 and let's hit enter. We will receive the same message because this loop will run once again. Here, minus 1 is not entered. Therefore, these two statements will execute and we will get the same message. Now, let's provide the number 20. At this moment, when we hit enter, the sum variable will hold the sum of these two numbers, that is 30. After hitting enter, we will get the same message. Now let's provide these inputs. After hitting enter at this moment, we will get the sum of all these numbers in the sum variable, which is 150. And let's say after hitting enter, we provide the number minus 1. Now as we have provided minus 1, this condition is true. And therefore, we will exit this while loop because of this break statement. And now the sum will be displayed on the screen, which is equal to 150. I hope this is clear to you. So with the help of a break statement, 
we can terminate an infinite loop. We can terminate a kind of a loop which will not terminate on its own with the help of a break statement. So it is quite useful. So with this we have understood the break statement. This means we are done with the first topic. Now let's move to the second topic to understand the continue statement. So what is the continue statement? The continue statement is used to skip the current iteration and it allows us to move to the next iteration. So if we want to skip the current iteration, that is if we do not want to execute some statements after the continue, then we can do that by using the continue statement. It will skip the current iteration and it allows us to move to the next iteration. This can be better understood through an example. Let's say we want to print all the odd numbers between 1 to 10. This can be done through a for loop. We can write a for loop with let's say a loop variable i. This variable will receive values from 1 to 10. Now within the for loop we can check the condition whether the variable i is holding an even number or not. If the variable i is holding an even number, then the number will not be displayed on the screen. We will simply continue to the next iteration. Otherwise, we will display the number on the screen. In this way, we would be able to skip all the even numbers and display only the odd numbers. Now, here is the example program for the same. Here I have included this for loop within this main function. And here, this for loop will run from i equal to 1 to i equal to 10. Now, here I am checking this condition. Is i mod 2 equal to 0? This means I am checking whether the variable i is holding an even number or not. If variable i is holding an even number, then we will continue to the next iteration. This means this stdcout statement will be skipped and we will move to the next iteration, that is to the update expression. This is the meaning of skipping the current iteration and moving to the next iteration. Now, if the number is not an even number, then the stdcout statement will execute and this means the odd number will be displayed on the screen along with the white space. Now we know when we execute this program, we will get the output 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. All the even numbers are skipped and only the odd numbers are displayed. This has happened because of the continue statement. It allows us to skip the current iteration. That is, it allows us to skip the statements after the continue and it allows us to move to the next iteration. So with this, we have understood the continue statement. This means we are done with the second topic also. And this means we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.